What's going on everyone? I'm back here with another video and today I'm going to be giving you guys a look at some of the new features in the PlayStation 4 version 4.0 update that was just released. So there's actually quite a few new features and UI uh, changes um, within this update. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so the first new change has to do with the quick a uh, quick action menu. Uh, and you access that by holding down the PlayStation button for a few seconds. So if I do that, so there we go. As you can see, uh, the quick menu has been completely redesigned and has a completely new layout. And as you can see, it only takes up half of the screen. So you can basically see what your game is doing in the background while you're in this quick action menu. <clears throat> and basically within this menu you have all of your standard options with a couple of new ones as well. So you can still get access to your sound and device as you can see here. You can change all of your device settings, volume control, things like that. Um, the new, a new thing however is online friends. So within this menu you can uh, instantly get quick access to see uh, which one of your friends and how many of your friends are currently online and what game they are playing. So that's a neat new thing. And um, then you have um, more options such as music, power, accessibility, online status. This is another new one. So you can change your online status straight from this menu now. So you can be online or appear offline, which is nice. And um, then we have broadcast and then customize. So customize... Uh, allows you to customize this menu basically to however you would like it. So you can remove um, options from here. So if you don't want power uh, settings in here, so you can turn that off or remove it, and it will no longer show up in your menu. But if you want to put it back, you just check mark it again, and it shows up right there. Um, then you can add other ones as well. So say, for example, you want to add My Communities, so you can select that, and it will add that to your list of options. And then you also have this option of sorting. So if you go into sort, this allows you to rearrange uh, the different options within your menu. So say, for, for example, again, uh, My Communities, you want to move that, say, to the very top. Just select it and slide it way up to the top. And there you go. The community section is now moved to the very top of your list. So that's nice. I'm going to put it back down here. But that's basically sort. And that's the overall new menu for quick actions. Um, next up, uh, the What's New screen on the home menu has been completely redesigned as well. Um, if we go scroll down here, as you can see, on the What's New, um, the menu for this has been slightly tweaked. Um, it's still similar to what it was before, but as you can see, the columns and the overall view of this menu is slightly changed. So it's a two-column view now, so you can be viewing uh, your friends activity on this side and then you can go over here and see trending videos under the uh, live with PlayStation and stuff like that and as you can see that video right there tried to play in the background so you can get live video feed straight from the what's new uh, menu now which is quite nice um, so that's a new little redesign of that. Um, next redesigned is in the share menu. So the share menu has been completely redesigned as well. So if I jump in here to the share menu, as you can see, the share menu basically has the similar design and layout of the quick action menu that I showed previously. So it's got that kind of, it takes up only half of the screen now. It doesn't take over the entire display, which is very nice. But you still get the same... Um, actions and options uh, within this menu. So you get, still get the option to select a video clip, a screenshot, uh, you can start share play, save a particular screenshot, and then you can still get access to your sharing and broadcast settings as well. So that's the new share menu. Uh, the library uh, menu has also been redesigned. So if I go way over here to the library and click on that, um, it hasn't changed w too much. Um, it looks very, very similar as it did previously. Uh, there's just a few things over here on this um, column view uh, that has been kind of moved around. And some things have been added and tweaked. 
but generally the library hasn't been changed too much. It's basically the same as it was before. So next up within the user interface redesign is under player profile. So if you go to a profile of one of your friends, so I'm going to click select this one. As you can see, the menu for the profile has been changed uh, quite a bit. Um, all the features and options that you had previously are still here. Uh, just the layout of everything has been tweaked and moved around a little bit to make it a little more user friendly. Uh, so that's basically Sony's goal with this update. It, uh, they're making everything about the user interface and the um, operating system a little more user friendly and easier to use. Um, so that's kind of nice. Next up is you now have the ability to choose a cover image or change your cover image for your profile. So basically it's allowing you to change your uh, profile picture. So next is the ability to create folders for all of your games and applications. So this one is a really, really nice, useful feature. Uh, I'm really glad Sony has finally done this. Um, but the way to add a folder, so say for example I want to add the media player to a folder, so you just hit the options button on your controller, and you'll get this menu here, uh, just like usual, but there's a new option at the very top that says add to folder. So when you select on that, you have this option to add a new folder, so click that. And then we have the option to name it. So let's, I'm just going to name this one just test for now. Um, then it shows the number of items within that folder, and currently there's only one item, so that's that. And then content, you can Im immediately add uh, more games and applications to the folder directly from here. So say, for example, I want to add live with PlayStation from here. So you add that, confirm, way over here, there you go. And now Live with PlayStation has been added to this folder as well. And then when you're done, you just hit OK. And the, the folder is immediately added to the home screen. And then to access the apps, you just hit down on the uh, D-pad. And you have access to those two applications. Then to add another application from the home menu or home screen to that folder, again, hit Options, Add to Folder, and then down here you can see the existing folders that you have recently created. So you can hit that folder that I recently created called test. You click that and now PlayStation Now is added to that folder. Again, you hit OK and there you go. Those three applications are now in that one folder. So this will clean up your home screen and kind of organize things and make it easier to find. So really nice on Sony's part for finally doing this. And now the uh, way to remove a folder is again you hit options and you can either edit the folder, delete only the folder, or delete the folder with all of the content inside. So in this case I just want to delete the folder so when you do that it deletes the folder and puts all of those applications back onto your home screen. So really nifty and really really handy organizing feature. Uh, next up is the ability to now transfer all of your uh, PlayStation 4 content uh, to a new PlayStation 4 console. So this is kind of something that we've had with the PlayStation 3 for a while now, um, where we were able to transfer all of our content, save games, and everything like that over to a new PS or PlayStation 3 console if you happen to upgrade. So the PlayStation 4 now gets that uh, feature as well. So to access that, you just go into the settings, scroll all the way down until we get to system, and then down here at the very bottom, as you can see, we have a new option called Transfer Data from Another PS4. So you click that, and from this, it'll allow you to transfer all of your content. As it states here, it says all users and their settings, games, and save data, as well as screenshots and video clips. So all of that will be transferred from the current PS4 over to the new PS4 uh, that you might end up upgrading to. Um, this comes to uh, shortly after the... PlayStation 4 Slim and PlayStation 4 Pro were both announced recently, so um, if anyone ends up upgrading to either of those uh, new PS4 consoles, um, you can instantly transfer your data over to them um, seamlessly and very easily. Alright, so next is in the Live from PlayStation application, and you now have the ability to comment and like screenshots and video clips that people have posted. So if we jump into Live with PlayStation, or from PlayStation, um, and we go down to Video Clips and Screenshots, it works in both. So if I click Screenshots here, and let's say I want to click on this one, 
you now get the option over here to comment uh, on that particular photo as well as liking it so you can put a thumbs up letting that person know that you liked that particular image so really cool again it works for both screenshots and video clips next uh, this one i can't particularly show uh, but it involves messages and the number of messages that are saved has been increased uh, so the amount of messages that can be saved on the system has been increased substantially. Uh, okay, next up involves uh, enhancements to the trophies section. So if I go over to trophies here and click on that, uh, you now can get details for hidden trophies, which is kind of interesting. So let me go to a game that has hidden trophies within it. Uh, I know Grand Theft Auto 4 has some hidden trophies, so if I select on that, Okay, the very first one there, actually. So it says it's ultra rare. Um, also, as you can tell, the little um, icon that shows the rarity of the trophy has been changed. So as you can see, it's kind of like a little pyramid triangular shape. So that's kind of cool. Um, but anyway, so to get information on uh, a hidden trophy, as you can see, it says press square to show the hidden information. So if I press square... Uh, it now shows details about that um, trophy. So in this case, it says, Sorry for taking liberties with your time. Um, I'm not entirely sure what that means. But, um, yeah. So you can get details with the trophy that you couldn't normally do before. Next with the trophies is you can now view uh, any trophies that are saved on your PS4, even, though, uh, even without an internet connection. So you can still view all of your trophies uh, on your console. Uh, without an internet connection. Uh, next up involves privacy settings. So uh, there, are, you can now change privacy settings on a per game basis, which means you can change different settings um, for an individual game. Um, so you, the way you access that, so you, again, you need to go to settings, uh, PlayStation Network account management, and then you go to select privacy settings, which I'm not actually going to go into that menu because it will reveal my email address, which I do not want to show in this video, of course. But yeah, you go into privacy settings, and then from there you can immediately change privacy settings on a game-to-game -game basis. Um, so each game will have their own unique set of privacy settings. Up next up, the Communities tab has been now moved to the Function screen. So as you can see on the Function screen here, we now have a tab for the Communities. So you can easily click on that now, and you can instantly get access to... Your, all of your communities, whether they be the ones you've created or all of your ones that uh, your friends have created. Alright, and now these last few features are a little bit minor. They're not huge, um, but I'm going to go over them anyway. Uh, the first one being, uh, if you're using remote play and you need to enter text, uh, you can now use the connected computer and or devices keyboard uh, to do that. So that's nice. Uh, next would be... Uh, YouTube, Twitch, and Daily Motion streams, or live streams rather, uh, now support 720p HD uh, at 60 frames per second. Unfortunately, it's not 1080p at 60 FPS, which is kind of weird. I don't know why Sony is limiting it to 720p, uh, but I guess they have their reasons. Maybe it's performance issues, I don't know. But anyway, hopefully that'll be upgraded uh, in the near future. Uh, next is you'll now get a notification message uh, when your friend request has been accepted. So when you uh, request to be a friend with somebody and they accept it, you'll now get notified uh, right on your home screen or wherever you are. So next up, um, within the notifications tab, uh, downloads are easier to manage. So if I go into notifications here and scroll down to downloads, as you can see now we have an easier way to manage uh each download that is currently happening. So if I select this one here, you can see we get a little bit more fine-grained control. So you can resume the particular download or you can pause it just like we did before or you can uh, cancel and delete the download as well. Lastly, uh, when you report any uh, inappropriate content, uh, you can now add a simple comment about it uh, to describe what has been basically going on. That's basically all the new features uh, with the new PlayStation 4 version 4.0 update. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button right down below. It helps out the channel very much. 
Um, hit that like button as well. It's greatly appreciated. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying my videos and things like that. And if you guys have any questions or comments or anything of that nature, drop a comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. But yeah, that's basically it for this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed once again, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.